Michael Fernandez, and I'm presenting on energy minimizing gate with lower extremity prostheses. To aid designers in the creation of next generation prosthetic devices, which might be able to minimize the gait alterations caused by existing devices, I'm proposing a hybrid trajectory optimization simulation framework to understand how the devices change gait. I'm specifically implementing the direct method for trajectory optimization with planning through contact from POSA, Cantu, and Tedrake that uses complementarity conditions to enforce feasible constraints without predefining a mode sequence. I'm seeking to find feasible walking gates for a planar human walking model comparing the intact limb, peg leg, energy returning J-spring, and microprocessor controlled power to ankle prosthesis conditions. All work that shows how animals minimize their metabolic energy expenditure, I'm optimizing over the mechanical cost of transport during this gate, subject to semi-implicit Euler constraints on dynamics, as well as complementarity conditions on contact and contact forces. The problem is actually solved by reformulating equivalent constraints that can be progressively tightened through iterated optimization runs until you achieve strict feasibility and eliminate any of what I'm going to call spooky action at a distance. Short time horizon simulation does show that the physics constraints are valid, but contact is not made until the very last time point. Including constraints that require the feet to contact the ground at the end of the simulation, we see that there is only normal force when the feet are in contact, validating the complementarity condition. That said, I was not able to find any periodic walking gates. This could be due to a number of different causes, such as overly restrictive periodicity constraints that couldn't be admitted in the desired time horizon, or some contribution from the upper extremity that counterbalances gait and allows us to walk smoothly. Well, we can enjoy some of the failures, like this ballistic trajectory that was found when the initial velocity constraints were removed and never made any contact with the ground. Or periodic joint configurations that were only possible when the joint limits were removed. We see sliding contact in place that occurred when there was no constraint on the final exposition of the system. But even with that constraint, we just find that the feet penetrate the ground and they're sliding rather than actual walking. The experience of working on this project only reinforced that non-convex optimization is hard, sensitive to initial conditions, and planning through contact is very hard. And this is why so many simulators use very simple contact models. I find it incredible that we evolved walking gates at all, let alone with the degree of robustness that we have to traverse many different kinds of rough terrain. And this only reinforces that simulation is not yet able to replace real experimentation.